Hello and welcome back to Iratus. We're heading out. We have the A team ready. Well, it's not really exactly the A team. The thing is, like, whatever I got currently equipped is the A team. Uh, well, I just go with that. The guys are pretty okay, just chilling back at home. And uh, yeah, I'm. I kind of want to get more vampires, but I need to stress people out <laughs> for that to happen. And my team is not exactly the scary kind. More like the we actually kill you kind. Which. I don't know. I, I kind of want to build a stress team as well. But I feel like the... Well, actually, you need experience for both kind of builds. Holy fuck. Alvin Ranger. What an asshole. You know what we can say hi with? We can say hi with the Skullfall. Although, two of them will be unaffected. That's a little annoying. Scout. Or will they be? Let's try this. I want to try it. Burning friend. They are unaffected. Uh, we can do a uh, abundant harvest. That's a good way to proc a bunch of blocks. I like it. Okay, uh, let's go for life steal. Hypnosis. Uh, well, we can uh, drop some HP for rats. I can do that. <gasps> oh my god, Berserk. Just kill the tank. Do uh, 95 damage. But lose a, sh a crap ton of vigor. I don't know, do I, do I really want to? This one doesn't really... I don't know. I, I think we're just gonna go with Brat. Or maybe just some regular damage. Now nah, let's go with Rat. Okay, you can just go for a big life steal on everybody. Oh my God, he doesn't even have the upgraded life steal. What a loser! Oh, uh oh, she's gonna take double damage down. Oh, uh, the crosswoman seems to do a lot of damage. So we can hit everybody again. And get closer. Miss. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, let, let's hit the elite crossbowman. Nice heals. Although we can't really stack damage on on him. I can go back to get some mana. The block is nice. It's a lot of damage. I can finish it off by just going for a chest piercer. And maybe doing a, a mocking slap on the Alvin Ranger. No, it's not gonna work. He's not gonna burn to death. Oh, he's. Okay, fine. Let's just go for a uh, hit. Regular hit. Nothing too fancy. Oh my god, we're missing. This guy has 32% evasion. And actually would have 40% evasion, if not for my special item. So, I, I need upwards 140 accuracy. At least 100 accuracy. I mean... Like, I don't know if uh, this one has actually any evasion. This one would have 12% evasion, so I think going for like, at least like 115 accuracy is uh, pretty much uh, advised. I can take out this guy. Let's slide back. We can use our mana to deal a crap ton of damage to him. Within flames. And we deal random damage. Random enemies. Okay. Apparently it has a chance to kill. Very nice. So we can hit everybody for 20 
8 damage. No, no, no. This one doesn't have. Just, just a regular crit hit. But it's gonna be good enough on the Elven Ranger. You will soon embrace your new existence. Oh no. Seems like the bounty hunter needs a timeout after this. Oh no. Uh, we cannot interrupt that stance. Okay. Well, there's technically like a chance to insta-kill them. Let's try it. Well, not so much if you don't even hit them. Yeah. Oh, you better target. Makes sense. Frail bodies fail you. I can't kill her. Let's slide back. I'm just getting mana. What the fuck? 46? That's insane. Okay. Any of them want to run away? No. Nobody wants to run away. I'm not scary. I'm just strong. Uh, wow. Wait, what? Why can you go for- Oh, he's not, not close enough to do a uh, whistle hunger. We need to do a spell. Fate within flames. Don't you want to run away? <laughs> oh no. That hurts. Well, okay. Uh, well, lose a little bit of vigor. <clears throat> the thing is, he needs to go for a timeout anyway, so may as well just get mana. She's damn tanky. Ignores block. Sure. I'll take a hit anyway. Losing the... Making the target lose all the armor would be pretty good. Wow, what? Yeah, he needs to have a timeout anyway. Doesn't really matter. But it would be nice to not die. So at least try to do that. Vampire is so damn good. <laughs> Everybody else is like, oh, we're taking damage. <sighs> okay, we got uh, for the first two turns of battle, all minions deal plus damage. I mean, yeah, we could use these uh, one time use thingies. Yep, so they are leveled up now. We got the Lich, which is a little bit far away from a level up. I don't even know what I want from these Banshees. I mean, that's that's just a minor upgrade. We can do a Deafening Veil in the back, I suppose. But going for a Chilling Veil would be really good for a Dread-based party. That needs uh, backline support. I mean, that's the main advantage of the Banshee. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna put these Banshees here and not commit to any kind of uh, upgrade path. Uh, Dark Knight. Yeah, he needs XP. All is dust. Initiative. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't matter too much. Which one we are go going for? Uh, getting a little bit of accuracy would be nice. I definitely prefer that. But damage is pretty good too. Let's go for damage. Get back to battle. And uh, of course, take out uh, these two. They're ready for a fight. Uh, 
this one can chill a little bit. Vampire stays. We need a tank. Why is it so hard to have a fucking tank? I mean, the skeleton can be used as a tank, but it's not ideal. I need second line damage. Uh, do I have brains? Let's see. I have two level three brains. That's not great. Can we just level up some guys? Wraith and zombie. I mean, once they get to level 5, it doesn't matter too much. Leveling them further. So we're gonna have a zombie here. He's gonna go for the accurate. Setting people on fire. But also this is a good stress damage. Look at that. This has a combo uh, with the Lich that uh, punishes people for low luck. Low evasion. Well, yeah, setting people on fire. That's kind of nice. I mean, this is a more generic use. I wouldn't mind if you can just pick up both. You can do both. I expect or maybe you can results. just sweep it around. No. Uh, that's a good way to trigger... I like a bunch of, uh, yeah, this is kind of useless for that, but like, it's a good way to trigger like a bunch of, uh, armors or just a bunch of, uh, blocks. Yeah. We can get two damage by going for the even more powder. <laughs> uh, accuracy is fine. Damage is nice. Yeah, I mean, going for damage would be really huge. But we only got one point left. So this... Yeah, hits one enemy and two enemies behind it. It doesn't really matter. I'm kind of using this as exclusively as a way to just uh, trigger blocks. Ignores ward. But this is a terrible attack. Ignores resistance. This is a terrible attack. It's not worth using. This is a very situational attack. I think it's exclusively used just to just to like uh, trigger some uh, some 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 block. I mean, it's not really worth using, e even for the damage. Uh, this attack is the main attack, igniting mixture. I think both of them have a uh, merit, very much so. Look at this. You deal three stress damage plus like fifteen stress damage per turn on two targets. So that makes Zombie one of the best stressors in the game. Wait. Oh, that's only one target. Even if it's one target, that's 30... Uh, well, let's say like 33 stress damage plus debuff for two turns. 33 overall stress damage. Here we just uh, do uh, some ig ignition on them. Yeah, this sets uh, fire to one guy. This sets fire to two guys. So that kind of comes out to like 36-ish. Uh, yeah, 36, 39, 39 damage. With one hit, which is pretty good, although, unlike the vampire, you don't heal for that, so the zombie is just straight up worse than the vampire. Trench loading, this is also a pretty bad attack. Uh, health is good, but, I don't know, I mean, both health and damage is good. Accuracy. Yeah, we're not gonna use this, I mean, we might use this, if, we, if the zombie gets sh shuffled to the back, and we can just spam some orbital... Orbital bombardment. So I I think that could be a thing. All right, let's go for that. So we're gonna have a level. No, I don't think we're gonna have a level three for zombie. Let's go with the right. This one is a very obvious uh, stressor. Uh, you can't really build it as like a magic damage dealer, I believe. It has some magic damage, but this is all about stress attacks. 
We have 50 magic damage. Oh, target can move. A little bit more. So this is not worth using. It deals uh, 25 uh, stress damage. Removes all buffs from the target. And loses evasion. It just pushes it back. And this just deals more stress damage. So... It's already pretty damn good. It just be looking at the stress damage, but the ghostly fire is the really good one for stress damage. Uh, we can deal 8 stress damage. And the enemy behind it. So it's gonna be 16 stress damage off the bat. Okay, should I say 17? And also, they keep taking stress damage, which is just insane. So with this, they take even more stress damage. So this kind of comes out to like, at least like, I think like 66 stress damage on two targets over two turns, which is just stupid. Curses the targets for two turns, dealing, uh, yeah. And two enemies behind it. So this is like, what do you want? Do you want to like uh, stress damage, like three targets? Uh, they are both okay. They're both very good. Buff the rate for plus dread until the end of battle. Yeah, like the rate does very much uh, benefit from uh, dread buffs. Th this is both really, really good. Block and ward until the end of battle. So you can just use this uh, to make yourself a little stronger. But this actually gives a, probably a better bonus. The only problem with the rate that in order to use the ghostly fire, you need to be in uh, position 1, 2, 3 and for this you need to be position uh, 3 and 4 so in order to really take advantage of the raid you need to be position 3 summons a concealing cloud for 2 rounds or any minion in the cloud receives a, a 35 evasion or 25 evasion for 3 rounds randomly swap positions they're both really damn good I think we're gonna Serve go like this. Well, Evas uh, I mean, accuracy is uh, important. I, I think evasion is kind of pointless here. We can push a guy back, remove all buffs from the target. It makes the Wind of Oblivion worse, but like we get some accuracy, which will make the Cursed Flames better. Accuracy is pretty damn good. What, what do I want? Do I want Dread instead? I mean, this is uh, like 25. 25 gets a little bit better. So this is like a 10% increase in effectiveness. And uh, yeah, this is not quite as good. But it could be better because as long as we're dealing with some evasion, this is going to be so damn good. I think we need uh, accuracy. I don't really care about pushing people back, but that's not going to be the main ability either. So... That might be okay. And with this, we might be able to shuffle a ranger in the front. So that has that uh, advanced, well, pretty good effect. Actually, the evolution allows the rate to go forward. And the ghostly way allows him to go backwards. So these are both very good uh, abilities, except the gold grasp. That's kind of useless. What I want to use is the the way to go back. And that's probably going to be more useful than going forward. We can just get... Uh, well, luck is basically pointless. But this is pretty damn useful. So, I don't know. Wind of Oblivion. As long as he doesn't get uh, shuffled around, I this might be pretty useful. Results. Although, I think he's just going to take a time out. All these are taking a time out. But we still gonna need someone. Okay, let's just take the Lich. Should I just go and uh, put the Vampire over here? We need to get a uh, Deep Bite. Actually, no. Or yes? Uh, we can use the Bloodthirst from every location. Yeah, that's fine. Bite is fine. I, th I think this might be okay, but it's uh, not as good as my other lineups. Sacrificial Altar. 
Uh, in order for that to be worth it... Wait. Uh, this is where I would like to save the game. But what if I sacrifice a bigger minion? Do I get a better item? At the very least, we need to make something here. To sacrifice. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Just, just make it from regular stuff. This is fine. Just a regular common skeleton, nothing else. Each round of combat, Iratus recovers some rat. Okay. 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 Well, actually, accuracy is probably better than just physical damage increase. Luck looks pretty okay. I like luck, but I might just take accuracy here. So, can I just put that on? Oh, do I have the golden tooth? Maybe she should have better items. <laughs> I don't want to give that to her. You should have something better than that crap. Like, this doesn't uh, uh, work with the steel uh, spikes. But, yeah, the steel spikes should make him an okay. Okay, let's just boost the physical damage. Accuracy is actually pretty good of the Bride of Iratus. Uh, this should be fine. Uh, let's just go and uh, continue with uh, Team 1. What? <laughs> okay, you just do the, the defense from the start. And that's all he does. Rain of fire, pass. <laughs> Sacrifice ally, that's just crazy. I don't have enough mana for my big spell. Spell Thief? Barbarian. Okay. Shot, sweetie. Sure. Let's go for lifesteal. The same amount of damage. I can attack uh, them in the back, but maybe I don't want to. Ah, uh, let's just bite. We can bite the Elven Ranger, although... The chance of missing the Elven Ranger is... is uh, reasonable. Wait, what? How tank is this Barbarian? 22 physical armor? No! Just keep keep tanking, okay? That's all you need to do. So I, I may hit the Alvin Ranger instead. <laughs> Considering this uh, new development. Although I would like to kill the Spell Thief. Yeah. The game is getting harder. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Being born was your first mistake. Opposing me? Your last. Okay, well, taking out the crossbowman uh, seems pretty damn good. Although crossbowman is the easiest to kill. Setting this guy on fire. And doing some physical damage to him. Just regular attack, hopefully it doesn't miss. 
I can do magical damage, not a problem. This is so useless. He's defending and like, increased chance of the skeleton getting attacked. He doesn't never get attacked except by the Elven Ranger. Come on, attack this guy. This is the whole point. Miss. Fate within flames. Yeah, that's a random target, right? Okay, let's hit them all. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks like. Oh, that hurts. Keep tanking, mate. You need to do it. Okay, let's set the barbarian on fire. And just go for the regular stab on the crit woman. <laughs> Seems like a lich is going to need a timeout after this. She can hit both. That's fine. Don't you ever want to run away? Oh my god, no. Run away, mate. Aren't you feeling stressed when you want to run away? Seems like no. We cannot summon a skeleton unless we have space for it. Oh man. Oh, what can we do here? Loses all armor and resistance. Yeah, I mean, I know. Lich is really good in position free. But at this point, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we keep tanking. Okay, let's go for a big hit and just get enough lifesteal out of that. Nope. Oh, uh, magic hit. No, no, no. Magic hit. It's good enough. A sad display. It wasn't as sad. That's fine. We're not really getting brains. That's a little annoying. I want some brains. Not for eating. Uh, just because I have 10 IQ, okay? That's why I want brains. Okay, we're finding some stuff. These can just stay in. Uh, we can take these guys on an adventure, but uh, yeah. They at the very least need to have a time out. The knight can come and the bounty hunter can come. But a lot of uh, minions are just like, you know, you, you take them, but ultimately... Okay, ultimately they gotta have a timeout after one fight. That's just how it works every time. Almost every time. Not every time. Almost every time. So we can increase the chance of getting brains. We can make the skeletons a little tankier. Ah, for two talent points, I mean, okay. We can gain mana. By sacrificing uh, items. What if I just awk him here? Like, I have so many armors. Seems to be I'm, I have a decent position right now. Evasion. Fill, fill. It's no goal, but it will do. Accuracy. 
Okay. What if I just combine these two? Don't I just get it like a twice as good stuff? Oh, you just get something random. Uh, the accuracy is turned into evasion, so this is... At least slightly... Better. I don't know, I, I don't want to waste my resources though. Two luck, skulls. What if I combine these? Oh. I need to have the skull menu. <laughs> what? Where is it? It gives me four evasion now in initiative. I mean, okay. Attack. Attack is pretty good. Vigor. But let's let's combine it in the rag menu. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Let's not start. It's armor and evasion. I prefer the attack. Unless we can like give it to the Dark Knight maybe. No, we can't. I shouldn't waste my resources. Medical chest containing stuff. Okay, that's like a one-time use tank. For the first turns, uh, two turns of the battle, minions receive uh, a little bit less damage. That seems pretty good. Although, for a long fight, you want the armor, the regular armor. Enemies can't escape or become inspired. Really? But I kind of want them to escape. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what is this? Uh, Fortune Magnet. I mean, that's so bad. <laughs> I don't know, these are all bad. Fortune magnets? That's a one-time use thing. Just in case we need something uh, extra. Finally some quests, let's see what we got. Most of your current opponents are mercenaries and would-be heroes looking to kill you and take your tanks. Wretch hobos, you will do them a favor by turning them into more skeletons and zombies. Ah, uh, well, maybe I should uh, read it in like a evil voice. But like, that's not me. That's just uh, some storyteller. Oh well, at very least it will serve to teach them some loyalty, a lack of which you can abuse. A bunch of mercenaries are gathered ahead, and you know for a fact that they are unhappy with the pay they are being provided. The question is. Who will do the negotiations? So we can fight them. What if I make that vampire handle it? Can I get more vampires? I don't want to lose my vampire though. Vampires are quite special among the dead. In that they can't coexist with humans as a natural predator. They already, they, they already this country soldiers only need to hear a few sweet words from her lips to pick up their blades and wield them against their superiors. What? In battle, all enemies lose thirty vigor. What? Oh, this is like uh, for the next two. Well, basically, the next two battles are gonna be easier. Because they gotta come with me. Really? You joined me. You joined the fucking evil horde, the evil necromancer. I mean, I, I sent a vampire there because, I mean, she's the most human-like, I, I guess. But still, you joined me. <sighs> okay, sure. Let's see what we got. Well, they're leveling up, and there's not much to do back at home right now. At the... Early in the game, it was a major rush to just fill out the structures, but now I have nothing to do. Basically nothing to do. Well, I can... I think this vampire is gonna be just fine with uh, that much HP, that's fine. I want the vampire leveled up. Getting uh, uh, a savage bite would be crazy good. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching guys, and see you next time.